Shalom. First of all, giving all praise to the Most High, whose proper name is Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Yahweh Shai means in the name of the only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And the proper name is Yahweh Shai. Bahashem means in the name of. So we say, in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, which is translated. To me, in the name of the Most High, in the name of Yahweh Shah. Translation, in the name of the Most High God, whose proper name is Yahweh. Yahweh means he is, he exists. In the name of Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah means he is the deliverer and he is the savior. So, the men of the Lord, they start, they start off by giving all praise and honor and glory to the Most High, whose proper name is Yahweh. In the name of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. The elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Who brought and taught us the 100% truth. And has funneled that and has taught that truth to the Akim. Akim means brothers in Hebrew, in, in Hebrew language. The... Uh, <clears throat> The elders and the apostles, a great millstone brought the 100% truth to the to the world, and they teach it to the to the brothers, the Akim, which is the hopeful elect, and we give double honor to those elders and those apostles, and we send shalom and shalom to those hopeful elect, those brothers on the highways and the hedges, and on the street corners, and on the internet teaching that 100% truth. To awaken and seal the elect, the elect of Israel, the nation of Israel, the twelve tribes of, of twelve tribes of Israel, the Blacks, Hispanic, and Native American Indians here in Babylon the Great, that were scattered throughout the four corners of the planet Earth. That's the proper way of starting the lesson and ending the lesson. Giving our praise to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, double honor to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone. Shalom to the hopeful elect, the brother teaching the truth on the highways and hedges and street corners of the planet Earth and on the internet. <clears throat> I'm just excited because today is payday. I was able to get Wi Fi in my apartment and Lord willing, I'm going to order me a tripod so I can go out on the highways and the hedges and do more preaching and spreading the truth to awake and seal the elect. So the scripture that comes to mind is Isaiah 66, chapter 15, verse. Behold, the Lord will come with fire and with chariots and with rebuke and fire and flames of fire. See, the Lord, the, the Lord, our Lord, the king of the, the king of the Israelite, the king of the, the nation of Israel, Yahweh, his name means deliverer. His name, his name means he is, is the Savior. Yahawasha is coming back to save and gather his elect. And he's going to return with flames of fire, with the chariots, to seal and gather his elect. His elect is here today in the regeneration of reincarnate, regeneration and reincarnated. Do the spirit in the in the church and in the congregation of the great millstone Hebrew Israelites. Started from Elder to heart on down. Lord willing, all praise to you. How about show me how it's shot? Those that hear the message to strive to be in that number and give diligence by preaching and teaching on the highway, sighing and crying to the Lord. You how about show me how it's shot? When I watch it, when I watch a lesson from a, from a, from a fellow Akim, I get excited, and sometimes I'll be stuttering sometimes because I get excited with this truth and with this word, and knowing this truth, it, it gives you that that excitement, and you should rejoice in the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that he's he's planning on coming back, and he's gonna come back because his word does not go out void. He is a man that he should not. He, he is a man that he he, he not, does not lie. I'm just excited, Lord. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, the water.
Isaiah 66, chapter 15, verse, the Lord is going to come back. Behold, it started, it started by saying, behold, the Lord is coming back with flames of fire in the chariots. And those chariots, what the government today calls UFOs, unidentified flying objects. But they are identified with the men of the Lord that know the truth and know the 100% truth of these scriptures of the Bible. He's coming back. Yahweh Shah is coming back with flames of fire and with the chariots, with a holy host of his angels. Mm -mm -mm. If you know the truth, it should, it should make you excited. It, 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 it should give you great joy and you should rejoice. And I'm going to end it on that. May the lesson be edifying to the hopefully late those that's on the highways and hedges and street corners and on the internet preaching 100% truth and those also that seeking that truth. Shalom.